Hi, my name is Ben, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to interpret remainders in a word problem. Specifically, we're going to be looking at two contexts, where we round up and where we round down. Okay, here's our word problem. Sweets are packed in boxes of eight. Innis has 35 sweets. How many full boxes can she pack? And here, the key part is the full boxes. Now, if I were teaching this uh, as an introduction to bar models, I'd maybe start this with year two or perhaps year three. Um, and keep the numbers simple. It's really important that the numbers we deal with here are nice and easy so the children get a good grasp of how to model it out rather than starting with harder numbers. So we've said that the full boxes part is key and I would draw four boxes like this uh, and then we would look at the eights and if you need to have it as a number multiplication grid as well just to help the children with the eight times table it'll be really useful. So in the first box we have eight because the pot in boxes of eight and underneath, I'm going to put the number 8 there. On this one, it would be another 8. And two 8s are 16. In this box is another 8, which is 24. And in this box are another 8, which equals 32. And it's really important that they see that each box represents 8 sweets. And the four boxes are 32. And getting the children to articulate that in a number sentence is really useful. So four 8s equal 32. But then we go back to the question. She has 35 sweets, so the children will add on, and they'll realise that there are three sweets left over. So we come back to the question, how many full boxes can she pack? And the answer is four. It's four full boxes with the three remainder. So that's the context where we, where we round down. The next question is a little bit trickier, and this would probably be more upper juniors, and this is a a question that typically children will get wrong or will make a mistake on, which is fine, we just need to unpick it. 415 children and adults are going on a school trip. Coaches see a maximum of 50 passengers. How many coaches will a school need to book? Again, to draw this out pictorially is a really clear way. So here we've got our coaches and each one is 50, and then we can count up, and we can count up in 50s. So 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. And then we're left with 15 as our remainder. Now this is the question where I said that we need to round up, because it's how many coaches will the, will the school need to book? If we just took eight coaches, there would be 15 people left behind. So that's where we need to get a ninth coach. So 415 divided by 50 equals 8 with a remainder of 15. And as I said, this is a context where we need to round up. So it would be nine coaches. And that is how we can look at the two different contexts of rounding up and rounding down. 